God, where I've gone small blindly to them. Nave from on in the Nagler's hair. We as a class decided that magnetic levitation carrots would be the most popular form of transport in 2040. A typical car emits about 4,700 kilograms of carbon dioxide per year, which is terrible for the environment. In the future, we will be trying to reduce our carbon emissions, and what better way than to make our cars more eco-friendly? We think that maglev cars are going to become very popular because it will reduce our carbon emissions. The car itself will have two front seats and three back seats as standard, as well as a steering wheel and pedals. Underneath the car, there will be magnets. There will be small magnets at either side of the car, which turn when you turn the steering wheel. Cars have magnets that can rotate which track the magnets at the side of the roads that veer the cars left and right by using the steering wheel. Magnets will line the roads at crossroads to aid in turning. This will work as electromagnets are only magnetic when an electric current flows through them. By switching the current, you will switch the poles which will expel the car. They will take inspiration from maglev trains. Maglev, which stands for magnetic levitation, is the method through which a vehicle is suspended in the air using magnetic force. The poles on the magnets will switch, which will propel the car. The speed of this is three vehicles will be controlled by the frequency of electric power fed to the road, which will reduce the number of collisions. They can only happen on one condition, they throw them on for the winning. But that's your decision, we just want you to listen. For instance, no fall of one magnet and then no fall of another will push away from each other. Take inspiration for the maglev change. Maglev cars, they do the same. As you can tell, you have a got big brains. I pick us, you would have to be insane. Take into consideration what I am saying. Carve out wheels, can you believe it? 24D, get one at your local dealer. You know what? That's enough. Yeah, I think I see you. Thank you to Saffron Science and our teacher Ms Foley for this opportunity.